Hello, Geminis. This is you versus them for the 22nd through the 28th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Let's see what we've got going on for you guys today. What was going on with Gemini in the recent past? What's been going on with Gemini in the recent past? Eight of Wands. Changing a lot, communicating a lot with individuals. I feel, um, I feel like there's a lot that you guys have learned. Is what I'm getting here. Um, I think you are a lot more active than usual. I think that you guys are probably involved in um, maybe a lot of social situations. Okay. Maybe you were communicating with someone or trying to communicate with someone in the recent past. And maybe they, you know, the communication, maybe you guys have reached out and just could not get in touch with someone in particular. Let's see what's going on. What was going on for them in the recent past? Hmm. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Hmm. I think this is basically, um, this person, this is all about change as well, okay? And it's about accepting um, situations for what they are, accepting people for who they are. And I'm thinking, you know, this is where this person is right now. Accepting the fact that people are different, okay? Um, this is also, I feel, that... Um, this is Jupiter, okay? So this is the, the husband here. This is also karma. So, you know, whatever you put into this is what you get out. So I'm getting that this person is learning about basically the cycles of life, you know, is what I'm getting from this, okay? Going through some changes for sure, this individual. What's keeping Gemini from this person? The star healing. Healing. Um, I'm getting that you guys feel that you are following your path. You're doing what you feel like is right for you. I'm also getting that you guys are doing a lot of healing and, and healing yourselves. You're also healing other people, I feel, around you. You're doing what you feel like you're destined to do. Okay, let's see what's keeping them from Gemini. What's keeping them from Gemini? Temperance. Wow. Hmm, this person's also healing. You guys are like, you're mirroring each other. You're mirroring each other strongly. This person's basically trying to gain um, harmony in their life. Trying to find a, a nice mix between, you know, their emotions and, and what they should do with those emotions. How they should handle those emotions even. It's what they're doing. Hmm. Sagittarian energy there. What's currently going on for Gemini? What's currently going on for Gemini? The moon. Huh. You guys, I feel like you're exploring some really deep feelings here. And you guys may be involved with somebody that um, you're meant to be with, okay? Whether it's this person or whether there's somebody else that has currently come into your life. But definitely, um, I feel addressing your feelings, addressing things that um, a lot has been revealed to you. There's a lot that you once were trying to discover trying to find out about that I feel like 
you know, you're opening yourself up to to seeing things that you that you didn't normally or that you wouldn't normally um, be aware of is what I'm getting from this, okay? Because a lot of things that you know are not necessarily things that you've seen, just things that you innately know using your intuition is what I'm getting from you. What's currently going on for them? What's currently going on for them? And we have the Four of Cups. Hmm. What I'm getting is that this person is really they're not like welcoming love from anyone in to their life. They're not really crying over the love that's lost. It's like they're propelling their, <clears throat> excuse me, you know what I say when I get choked up. <clears throat> excuse me they're propelling their own cells here look at all of this water I'm getting that this person is happy honestly doing whatever they are doing right now and I'm getting that they are finding balance and harmony in their life fours are stable so this person is very stable I feel emotionally okay whoever this is <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> what's influencing Gemini what's influencing Gemini what's influencing Gemini the magician huh there's something that I, I'm getting that you guys are definitely interested in. There's something that you want to start. And you're confident. You're confident about whatever this is now. Okay. Something has shifted and changed in you with this star energy. And I'm feeling like you guys are definitely um, dealing with your feelings, addressing your feelings, realizing certain things. And you're confident that with the knowledge that you have now gained, that you can do whatever you put your mind to. And I'm getting that it's your destiny that you're going after. Let me, let me pull real quick and see what this star is about. What is... What is Gemini's destiny. What is Gemini's destiny? Just to see. To realize. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I think this has everything to do with this person. It has everything to do with this person. You now know what your destiny is. You're now facing your own issues. You're realizing your own issues here with the strength card. I'm feeling like this person is your destiny as above, so below. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Hmm. Oh, okay. Let's see what this is. In. Okay, we have the Three of Swords here. Hmm. And the Two of Cups that flipped out for this person. This person's over this broken heart. They're over this, this love. Not over the love, but the, the disappointment related to this love. They've healed from that. They can now and go visit the grave. You see this? visiting, addressing, knowing the things that hurt each one of you and knowing the truth in this situation. See the rain? This is all emotions around here, not just swords, not just thoughts, but it's coming to grips with the fact that, yeah, I hurt, I hurt Gemini. I did. Gemini also hurt me. And that is the truth of the matter. Your reading is absolutely beautiful to me. This is the other side of the Three of Swords. Nobody really taking accountability. 
okay? Nobody's there. But this person is actually looking at this and saying, yeah, I, I see it. I see it. I know I had a stake in this, okay? Wow. What's coming in for Gemini? What's coming in for Gemini? What's coming in for Gemini? The Empress. You guys have beautiful cards here. A new beginning. Growth. Abundance. Aries, Taurus, um, Libra energy, I feel. Um, Cancer's here as well. Aquarius, Sagittarius is here. Beautiful. Hmm. What's coming in for them? What's coming in for them? What's coming in for them? This is the King of Wands. Huh. There may be a, a Leo individual that um, is coming from the past, has kind of been sitting on the sidelines, or this is you guys may have Leo in your chart, but um, I'm getting that, you know, there there's definitely somebody that is coming like coming towards them not not fast though not fast though okay but definitely interested i feel facing um this person facing this situation with them okay somebody's interested and it may be somebody else from their past as well if it's not you guys let's see what is blocking Gemini? Something wanted to flip there. Oh wow, the King of Wands is blocking you. You guys may have some competition. You may have some competition. Either you guys have um, a Leo or another fire individual that is interested in your person or this is this is you guys blocking yourselves because you're not taking the initiative as the king of wands would um so either way either way what's blocking them and the king of wands can be male or female okay so and the empress as well Let's see. What's blocking them? The Ace of Wands. Hmm. Maybe, you know, this person is not willing to... They don't want to settle for less, okay? And they don't want to be involved in any situation where they feel like it's strictly sexual, okay? And, um, and they also... I don't know if they're ready to start new. I don't know if they're ready to start over. Because I get that they're healing. I get that they're gaining balance and harmony in their life. I get that they're happy. But they are happy floating their own boat. Okay. At this point. So I don't know if they're willing to actually start with you or anyone else. To be honest with you. But I definitely see somebody... Um, interested in them i don't know how good of a person this is but definitely interested in this individual that you are thinking about here whether it's you or someone else again i'll say that because this could very well be you and which i'm almost you know i'm almost inclined to think that this is you Because here, this person is not coming in fast. This is the king of wands, but there is no red, no orange, no anything. Okay? So there's no action being taken here. And so what's blocking you is 
the fact that you're not taking the initiative and the power is in your hands. So strongly this is you guys. This King of Wands here, okay? What's the advice for Gemini? The advice for Gemini. Five of Swords. You need to fight for this if this is what you want. That's the advice. Fight for it if it's what you want. Okay? And stand up for what you believe in. For sure. Let's see. What's the advice for them? What's the advice for them? The advice for them. Hmm. And this is the King of Cups. I, I think they need to be more emotionally involved is what I'm getting here. Because this King of Cups is facing out towards the water and not really addressing you know their emotions and we see that there with the four of cups this person's out on the water just like la 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 um this is them being all in and involved but this is them like mm, nah, i think i'm just gonna look out at the water i'm enjoying this view you know i think they need to be more emotionally involved is what i'm getting here they need to turn around and face this situation okay so <clears throat> What is the outcome for Gemini? What is the outcome for Gemini? Oh, okay. The Ten of Cups. Wow. I, I'm definitely getting you guys will fight for the love of your life here because I strongly believe this is the love of your life, honestly and truly. I know you're going to thumbs it down, but I am strongly getting that this is the love of your life. There's a very strong attachment here, and I felt that with the star with the moon and the stars come on now the moon and the stars here then we have temperance here okay and now we have the ten of cups the eight of wands is here which is double the four the four is the door that's opening for you guys this is your outcome I'm strongly getting that you will fight for this because this this is your ultimate happiness with this person when you guys realize that, not only you, but the person that you're thinking about as well, when you guys realize that and come together, I feel like this will be bliss. Okay? Definitely. But it definitely needs some work. It definitely needs some work for sure. Okay? Let's see what's the outcome for them. What is the outcome for them? The outcome for them. The Five of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm getting that this person, because they are not dealing with their emotions, that they will feel they will feel very lonely um, because you know this this gets to be lonely. You know it may be good right now because you know you've been hurt, but. You know, in the long run, if you keep, you know, pushing people away or keep having your back turned to, you know, love situations, then I definitely see, you know, this happening, just being by yourself. Because, you know, you're trying not to, they're trying not to get hurt, honestly. And I think they're, they're being like, you know, counterintuitive, counterproductive um, by not allowing themselves to feel the emotions you know on a, on a deeper level not opening up and letting people in and so you know I see the five of pentacles definitely being the result of you know them having their back turned on a situation just feeling kind of lonely and by themselves and you know just basically you know it's me against the world kind of feeling okay so we have um, Taurus here we have Scorpio Aquarius Cancer Sagittarius um, Leo Capricorn, Pisces, Aries, Libra maybe. Mm -hmm. I think I said Leo. Um, yeah. So I'll be speaking with you guys soon.